Remember to come up with another whiskey bottle. You know my time. Don't forget. Ben, yeah. you look for a job. It's no job. I use the jelly. Oh, you drink whiskey at 15, even 20. You see, I'm now at 20. So what? Is that supposed Jeez. to be? Is that, ben. Excuse me. Is that supposed to be an insult? I cannot insult you now. You know very well. Excuse me. Calm down. You know very well. I'm chat that I can't have. There's no work in this country. I'm working out my plans and things will go well. So life is a struggle. And before the I don't mean I didn't mean to insult you if that's how you saw it, but please try and do something go. Okay. So Uncle Mike. What's that mean to Angela? How was he in prison? Well, we thank God, Sister Angela. We really? thank God finally I'm out. Really? You know, that place we have gone through hell. Ah. It's not a place to be. These three years, we have the grace of God so that hard, sustained me. So hard. I thank you very much. Really? You, know, you sacrificed a lot for you me. You are really a testimony uh, to us. Uh, but I wanted to ask, why did my wife not come along to pick me from the prison? Well, Uncle Mike, you know, I tried calling her while I was leaving the house. I called. While on the way, I tried calling. Well, she I don't know. Yeah, not as if she didn't pick, but she kept giving me a See, Angela, you, you know that for these three years I've been in prison, yes, Selena has not passed around to yes, check on me. Yes, yes, If not for you, uh, you, you you're wonderful. It's all right, it's uh, all right. I mean, you've been so good and... Uh, it's all right. Well, I just hope all is well it with It is her. well. 
I want no, to the, take the her. one good thing that happened for me in prison was the fact that I gave my life to Christ. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Wow. So I Praise miss, God. That's the one thing I can tell. Good thing from the prison. Oh, that's the a rest, testimony. The um, rest is a story not to tell. No, don't even. Yeah. Just make up your mind, you know, to let go and start over again. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I think God has a future for you. The world has changed there. Eh? Really? All these buildings uh, didn't. Uh, they were not here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is well. Thank you. I've been saying to Rob, you know, it's you that I see, it's you that I see. I've been saying to Rob, you know, it's you that I see. She loves it. So sweet. Wow, I love your beautiful fingernails. Yes, Eli, where are you? Ah, uh, I'm not around. I'm not at school. One of my friends put to bed, so right away I'm with her. Yes, I'll be back home in an hour time. Bye. Thank you. What is she saying? Well, she says she's not around. She'll only be around in an hour time. Why is Celine doing all of this? It's alright. It's alright. Fat life. <laughs> you know, because of you. Come on. I'm about to want to touch your hands. I want to feel it. I want to enjoy it. No, it's alright. It's okay. Um, I think we should go so you clean up. Before you go. Angela, yes, I'll be. I don't know. I didn't want to leave you here, but I must be. It's now. all right. I understand. Okay. No, then let me leave you to rest. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sister Angela, thank you very much. 
Oh, okay, <laughs> now I'm just start wearing these dresses at once. Oh, yes, I need you to wear this. What are you doing? Yes, the water. This is my neighbor that has forgotten me. I It's you that I It's you that I I the center of it all. It's you that I see. I hear my of Is that true? Yeah, you're right. I I really? went there when he came. I was there yesterday. So I see. Good, I was surprised. I wasn't expecting to see him like that. He's a bit fresh. Oh, really? Yeah, thank God for me. But why are you so tense talking about him? I'm not tense, I'm just asking. I don't want him to come here and, you know, you know he's an inmate and the aroma is not the best, so I don't want him around this place. That's just why I was asking to know so he can stay away from him. Don't deceive yourself. Don't be well, just be careful with him, please. Let me face this thing. I don't Thank want him around here. Yes. 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 Jesus only. Yes. Uh, leave the sins wherever you are. At the center. At the center of all. I mean, all. Yes. Only you, Jesus. I mean. Yes. Uh, leave the sins there. There is power. Miracles happen. Miracles happen. Miracles happen. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for seeing us through the night. May your name be glorified. You set me free from prison. And Lord, this first night with my wife has been a wonderful one. We give you glory and honor. Pray that you will bless our day to Jesus' name. Well, dear, I thought that I should wake you up this early morning for us to talk. First of all, I must say I'm grateful to God for sustaining me in prison for the three years. Finally, God has enabled me to be out. And I'm also thankful to God that I met you, you are strong, you are healthy. Uh, but I must also tell you that uh, your character has not been one that I should bear, if not the grace of God. Because I would not imagine that I go to prison for three years and you know that my reason for going to the prison, you indirectly uh, played a role in that. And I stay in prison for these three years. You've never come around to check on me. Your elder sister uh, came to prison about five times during these uh, three years. She's the one who buys clothes for me. She's the one who provides for me to eat. I mean, she calls from time to time. I've gone uh, to the office to receive her calls on several she occasions. Had, but my elder sister is never informing me when she's coming to visit you. How would I but have How do you want that? her to be informing me? Is it her husband that was in prison? Are you not blaming me for sending you to prison? Celine, you don't see anything wrong with what you have done. Uh, uh, so you got me up very early in the morning like this just for this rubbish. All right. Let's leave that behind. Let's forget about the past. My desire is for us to have a fresh start. And I'm not yet done. You don't sleep when I'm still talking. Talk. I wanted to know that while in prison, I gave my life to Christ. That's the good news I bring from the prison. Secondly, all our challenges in the past, the quarrels and whatever we had, I'm no longer ready for that. I just want us to have a fresh start. I promise to be a good husband to you and I want you to be a good wife to me. Yes, that is good. Let me see the good, the good thing in it. Anyway, uh, you still going back to there? I just said to rob it all. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. The center of it all. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. There is power in your name. Mr. Ben, the prisoner himself. Ben, wow. 
How is it? I'm good, are you? Looking fresh. Yes, always. <laughs> so, how has it been there in prison? Uh, well, God sustained us. Uh, finally, I'm out. We thank God. Really? Uh, it's not been easy, but uh, God's grace was sufficient to see us through. Okay. Uh, so, how are you doing with your studies? Well, I'm doing fine. Okay, I'm doing okay. fine. Someone told me, I don't know if this is true, uh -huh. that you guys feed on frogs and drink urine in prison. Is that true? <laughs> Mr. Ben, the person did not give you the right information. You know, in prison, we eat rats, we eat lizards, we eat whatever we find. But I just want to advise you the way you run your mouth that you may eventually find yourself there someday. I just said to rob you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's you it's that I said. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm sorry that I can't wait. Please come inside. Have a seat. I just said to rob you up. It's you that I said. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you, sir. You yes. uh, actually, you may not know me. Yeah. Uh, my name is Mike. Mike? Yes. Okay. Uh, I left from the New Bell prison a few mm. weeks ago. Mm. I was released. Uh, uh, I've been in prison for three years now. Wow. Uh, and what took me to prison was an unfortunate incident that happened. Mm -hmm. uh, that I killed somebody. The reason I came is because it was during one of your administrations, during your visits to the prison that I gave my life to Christ. So now that I was released, I thought I should just come and uh, greet you and thank you again for uh, what you have done wow. in my life. Wow. Uh, actually, I live in Bonaberry. I thought I should come and greet you. And thank so you. I make no error if I call you Brother Mike. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Wow. I praise God for your life. It's wonderful. At times when we go and uh, we minister in prison, you hardly know what the Lord will do. That's true. And uh, seeing the fruit of uh, our labor in prison, this encourages me just a lot. And I want to thank God for the decision that you have made. Uh, from when I gave my life to Christ, you know, I've really longed to see you again and give this as a testimony. Wow. Because a lot has changed in my life. Wow. Actually, I would say that what pushed me to hit that guy and he died was anger. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I quickly noticed that God saved me from was that anger. Mm -hmm. I was realizing that even though I wasn't sinning again, yes. that it was when other inmates provoked me and I mean, the way I reacted started showing me that a transformation was taking place. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, Today, I can say that I'm a completely changed man. So, as you increasingly grow in Christ's likeness, the fruit of the Spirit, one of which is self control, will be born in you. Amen. So, Brother Mike, I will pray for you, and I believe that the Lord will continue to use you and to minister to others. Why not go back and minister to those guys in prison? I want to do so. God has done that. Thank you for his salvation. Thank you for calling him out of darkness into your marvelous light. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I have a little gift for you. And uh, I want to give you with all my heart. Thank you, trusting that God will use you to use this world to minister to the souls of men. The Lord bless you, man. Thank you, sir. Happy. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so grateful, sir. God bless you. Uh, I'll come around from time to time. I will be available for whatsoever comes. Let me see. It's like I have some few friends here. Have that, 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 that,
Construction company. Well, though it's just uh, to work as a laborer, but I think that it's a good start. Okay. I'm, I'm so happy yeah. for that. All right, let me put some things in place. Sister Angel, okay. uh, some of those dresses, don't bother, I'll, I'll, I'll use it like that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll take my leave. Okay. Angel, Celine, you are my younger sister. It doesn't mean when you do what is wrong, I will not tell you. Okay. I'm not sure I'm not. Okay. I'm reminded of this thing that's wrong. Feel your love surround me. Your presence all around me. Papa. Papa. Let me answer this call, please. Hello? Yes, boy. That's a long time. How is it over there? Uh -huh. Okay. Did you do soil analysis uh, in the place? So how many stories does he want to put up? Well, you, you are the engineer, you should tell him what is right because people always want to raise buildings like that but you know, it is not safe for him, neither is it for you and of course you should not risk uh, yourself to be doing such uh, transactions with him. What the council stipulated that you do, I think you should follow that. Okay, Master Amdeo, if uh, there is anything, just let me know. Thank you. Yeah, I got something doing. I'm managing uh, just to make ends meet for now. Okay, boy, I will not talk for long. I am at work. But if there's anything, just call me in the evening. Thank you. Good day. Uh, young man, please, can you come and see me here? Good afternoon, sir. How are you? You're welcome. What's your name again? I am Mike. Okay, Mike. The way you sounded on phone, do you have any technical idea about construction work, please? Uh, so, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I graduated from the National School of Engineering. What is that? Uh, in Yaoundé, I did uh, building construction. 
Very amazing. I didn't know. But you wouldn't know. I'm anyway, in this place. Uh, since we have ideas, just come. Let us do something here together. I'm trying to read the plan here. Check from here to this place. These are stairs, not so. Yeah. I find that the land somewhere here, it's like uh, something's not working well here, please. Can you maybe give an idea there since you've done this thing? This is the first floor. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, nice. uh, this is an apartment here. Yeah. Uh, well, the, this, this landing is at the. Well, I think uh, it's the problem here. I don't know if the architect intentionally did it, but this uh, landing here is at the door of this apartment, yeah. which normally is not supposed to be so. But you know, today people economize space, and economize, yeah. so uh, it means that either this landing is adjusted to land here, mm -hmm. and if it lands here, then it will be very stiff and yeah. will not be good as yeah. well. Uh, so maybe an adjustment can be done at the level of this door to bring it uh, back a few uh, centimeters this way yeah. so that the landing doesn't land exactly Because I saw a problem there but I didn't know whether I'm saying it wrongly. But that confirms my your technician uh, there. Again, uh, why do you find yourself in a shanty carrying mod when you are really a trained uh, technician? What happened? Well, it's a long, a long story, sir, but uh, maybe we can talk about it when we close. Uh, very good, very good. Yes, again, we'll talk. All right, sir. Hopefully. Thank, thank you very much. Nice. Yeah, thank you, I don't believe what you are telling me. Tell me the truth, Ben. So what are you insinuating? 
I'm insinuating what we're thinking. Ben, why is that bed so scattered? The bed is scattered because I was resting and I just came back to the parlor. What's wrong with you? Ben, I'm not sure. Be very careful. Ben. Why are you acting the way you're acting? Ben. What? Are you okay? What's wrong with you? Are you suspecting me? I need to freshen up. Maybe it's because you went with, with, with. Come, 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 come. What's wrong with you? I don't even understand like what's happening. I can't come into the house. I see the bed so scattered. You're here sweating and you're telling me to come down. The bed is scattered now. I'm not coming down, Mr. Man. Yeah, who is that? It's George. Mama. George. Yeah, welcome. Thank you. Okay, uh, I called you so that we discuss on the. Uh, I told you about the project. No, so the fire is here. Okay. So everything about the project is here. You know, the other one was good. I want this one to be better. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Actually, the boys at the end, when I get back there, they will start working immediately. Okay. And when I was coming, so you remember the other guy, Mike, I told you about that I met in the Another Chantel Bonaberry. Okay, that, okay. Yeah, that, that yeah, Mike. Mike. Yeah. So I thought I should bring the file and give it to you and pull his file and give it to you so you can study it. Okay. Uh, in case you may have Are you there with the file? This is the file, sir. Okay. Let me see. Thank you. You know, we don't need people that are not qualified it's in this company. Sir. Okay. I will go over it and I will give you a call. Okay, sir. I will tell you what to do. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let me go back home, sir. Thank you. No, not be so. They either pay school fees. They yeah. pay school fees very well. Yeah. <laughs> but I said the command they picking them. No, you overlay. They pay the whole picking. It's all right. It's all right, Daddy. Actually, what brought me to the village was just one thing. Celine has changed. Huh? Yes. You heard that her husband left the prisoner. Yes. 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 Arriving at home, Celine had no time. In fact, that's not even what brought me. The issue is that Celine has been flirting. Yes, uh -huh. she is sleeping around with one mm -hmm. neighbor. Yes, what type of thing? Celine, I, I don't just understand. 
I say, let me come to the village and inform you people as her parents. Maybe since I'm talking and she cannot listen to me because I'm not yet married, you people can talk to her. Well, you want to talk to Celine? Yes. Why you want to talk? Flair, me say they follow some person. Yes, daddy. She is sleeping around with one of her neighbors like that. And my aunt Celine? Yes. They hey, my girl for her now. Wait. Mama, I'm very sure. And, and the funny me. thing is that her husband will just support her. I, I don't just understand. See, eh? This guy, this so. When you see the grass, not grass for call. As at the time, I'm so. When you go. My husband. You reach. When he take the grass off, he don't sleep. Can you say, Papa? What's he? Okay. You know, you know? Yes, sir. Hold on. Okay. Where you go? You just go give it. Can you say, Papa, the way give I will take my leave, Mama. Uh, Keep taking care of Daddy. I will do. Yes. Please. But my daughter. Yes. Yes. I want to give you some benediction. Okay, Papa. Where you go so? Mm -hmm. If everybody there for you don't blow you, say me no pan. You will just pan in Jesus name. Amen. Any person where they look back for your name, they back to go back now for your name. Amen. Go where well. Amen. Hey, but next time we welcome. Give me that man. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget Papa, that Papa, man. Papa, 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 Papa. You know, no. Oh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. I'll be leaving you. Why are you carrying your hand? There is no one oh, like you. Yeah. When they give you, no one can give you a couple of years. I don't want to hear from you. Okay. All right. See you. I'm fine. Come on, since your husband came back from prison, I can't even see you. Is it that? Are you not missing me? You're in trouble. What? I thought that you have abandoned me. You can't even come down to meet me. Yeah. You're all in the upstairs, upstairs. Come on, try to understand. Since your husband came back, this place is no longer safe for you and I. Please. I miss you. I miss you too. How are you? I'm fine. You're looking great. Ah, you know what? Okay. Mm -hmm. But please, remember we have to meet at our usual venue today. Don't forget. Please. Don't forget. I go for this. Come on. There, I know I go. Come on. 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 Well, these are the dresses I'm going to wear and dresses and shoes. Okay, wear during walk. Walking, yeah. Okay, I just wanted to go out too, so as we are going. Okay, so home. you take care of the uh, house. I'll be coming yeah, back. Yes. There's something important. Uh, I have a birthday party that I will, you will not meet me in the evening. I would mm -hmm. like to mm -hmm. see you. Don't start it. I came back. I've not enjoyed you yet. You are going for birthday parties. No, see, not birthday parties. it's our ladies' meeting. So one of them is having a birthday. We want to celebrate it. And you see, I want to pass the night there because I will help her prepare. Well, those ladies should know that you are a married woman. And I have said, we are either going together or you are not going for any party. I will not allow you to be out at night and I'm in the house alone. Okay, okay. All right, take care of yourself. I'll be back. Have, if she asks. Yes, do. And if she doesn't accept, you're not going anywhere without me. Okay. Bye. Bye. And baby. Yes, darling. Please hurry up. There's something I need to show you. How are you? Wow. I'm good. You look great. I'm about to go off to school. Well, something just came up. Um, do you mind reading this text message? You have been invited to come for a job interview at the American Embassy. Wow, nice message. I remember last time I told you um, I applied for the job at the U.S. Embassy. Yes, you did. It was quite competitive, but fortunately, with this message, I'm quite reassured for the interview. Yeah, you have been. Uh, oh, uh, thank God. So where will you be going there? I have to go there tomorrow, and I have I have a handicap right now. 
transport. I don't have money. I don't know how they're going to do it. I know that you have been sacrificing a lot for me, but this time around, I don't know. And the I'm American not. embassy is in Yaoundé. Yes. So you need to go there. Of course. I don't know how we're going to do it, and I don't want to miss this opportunity. So what are you telling me now? Well, I don't know. Baby, why are you tying your face now? What have I done again? Just because I said I have to go to your own day and you're getting angry, what's wrong? What do you want me to do? I need some money, come on. Money again? Will you pay me please for the last time? I'm going to ask you money again. Keep so, on. how much are we talking about? Well, you know there are a number of things I have to do there. I don't know if 100,000 francs will do. 100,000? Yes. For a job interview? 100,000. I have to move up and down. There are a lot of errands I have to do, stamps and posts and stuff like that, you know? You can't just go to Yaoundé without money. And you know Yaoundé is the capital city. There are so many things that I need to do there. I have to rent a hotel and all of that. So try to understand me. Every day morning, in the morning, I'm morning, sorry. in the afternoon, morning. I've, I'm so tired. I've been giving you so much money in this house. I'm so tired. Once you give me and I get the job, you're going to be fine, baby. Please just do something about it. Baby. Okay. I'm going to give it. But this is the last amount of money I'm going to give to you in this house. I promise. Cross my hand. I'm not asking money again. Okay. okay. Baby, why are your bank not so old like that? I'm sorry, sorry, come on, Jim. You're not even happy that I want to give you no, money okay, and say okay, that. It's okay. Unfortunately for me, I have just 55,000 here, but you know I cannot walk empty. Right. So you get this one. I'm going to go to the bank and see if I can withdraw more money and come and give you. I really want you to get a job and let me be over and done with this. But Jim. that will be after school. Jim. You know what? I'm so proud of you. So grateful, I really want you. You know what? As soon as I get this job, I will spoil you. Don't mind me. Okay, I'm off. Oh. She gave me 50,000 and she has gone to the bank to bring more. Sure, sure, sure. So I hope everything is set on your part. Um, there's one little problem. Uh, I'm unable to convince my husband. I don't know what to do. He's unable to be convinced about the fact that there's a birthday and he cannot attend, he cannot go with me. Just tell him a lie. I don't know what kind of lie I have to lose all my strategy. No. All right, this is what you're going to do. You will write a note, and in that note, you will tell him that your friend finally accepted that both of you should come to the party, and then tell him that um, you're going ahead because your friend insisted that you come. After you've written the note. You tell him that when he comes there, if he doesn't know the direction to your friend's place, he should give you a call and you will direct him to get there. As soon as that is done, you drop your phone in the house so that even if he calls you when he comes, your phone will ring in the house and he wouldn't have a chance to get to you. <laughs> I will do just that. I'll make sure I write, you know. I drop the phone somewhere. When he rings, the thing will just be ringing around the house. Okay, that's stupid. So, random there. Remember the usual hotel. When you get there, if you get there earlier enough, you can go to the bartender and you start drinking. I'll be coming over. <coughs> all right, all right. Make sure you're there in time. <sighs> Baby. Yes, darling. What? Are you, have you been standing here? I'm just coming in. I, you know, I forgot my ID, which also has my ATM card, so you oh. cannot withdraw without these things. So okay. I had to come back for it. It was very important. I do so. All right. I was talking to Grandpa. He said I should greet you. Are they all fine? Yes, they're all doing fine. They're all okay. doing fine. I'll, if all right. I don't hurry, I will be late. Okay, honey, I'm waiting for you. Okay. Bye bye. Um. Yo, 
for coming. Good morning, sir. Yeah, Michael. Yes, yeah, sir. You're yeah, welcome. Thank you, sir. Have a seat. Thank you. You thought we were almost at uh, the site. Uh, that's okay. why it took me long to come back. Okay, 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 yes. okay, yeah. I was calling for you because from the last time we discussed, I said I'm going to call you. Yes, sir. I'm really pleased with your service in this company. I have your letter of employment that you are going to sign Thank you, sir. to be a part of this company. But I came to discover when I was going through your documents, I discovered that in your former company you were being paid 450,000 francs. Uh, and uh, here, you know, it's a company that we are trying to build. So I will start you with 350,000. And we are going to give you a service car. And you also have some allowance. It's the care of a new car. Okay. Yes, sir. And uh, you will see our secretary is going to hand you the document of the car. But before that, just sign this document. Have it in. I would like you to go over it again. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. I'm signed there. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, you have your own copy here. Okay, sir. Yeah, this is your copy. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Then you will see the secretary, and you are going to receive uh, the documents of the car. Yes, sir. The car. Yeah. God bless you. Okay, sir. Welcome Thank to the company. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Let me head back to the site. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. I just said to rob it up. Spago. Are you down? Yes, I want you to do something for me. I want you to monitor my fiance. Yeah. Ben is trying to play one funny game with me. Yes, just come by and be at the junction. I will tell you when Ben is leaving now so you can follow him up. With him. Yes, give me detailed information. Yes. Thank you. There is power in your name. Miracles happen in your name As we lift our voice in praise It's you that I see It's you that I see So we ask, sir At the center of it all It's you that I see It's you that I see Jesus only uh, Live the sands wherever you are. At the center, at the center of all it all. Should I not see that I see? Only you, Jesus. Uh. Hey, I'm sorry. Elaine. Hi. Um, Where are you going to dress like this? I'm oh. having a big bath as if you spend the night. Yes, really. Oh, uh, uh, my friend, I had a friend that uh, she, her birthday will be today, so she asked me to actually come and help her cook, prepare, so I had to change, cook before I actually set for the party. Oh, you will meet me there. I would have loved to invite you, but never, never mind, next time. Hmm? Okay, see you now, take care. Next time. Baby, oh, you're back already. I'm back and I'm so tired. Ooh, I can see you're already set to go. Yes, I'm set. You look so tired. What happened at the front? It's just that the line, long line, no, it's almost not on and so many of those people. All right, wow. Well, wow. baby, I'm so proud of you. Thank you very much. I think. I will try to hurry up so that I can meet the first bus. I can catch the first bus. Okay, so I've asked Adriana so he will take you to the agency. Okay. But please, I want to tell you something. You know, I love you so much. I don't want to lose you. Yeah. So please, when you go out there, take care of yourself. Now I'm here waiting for you. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, back. He has left the house. Almost at the junction. Monitor him from there. When he enters, who he goes with, give me the detailed information. Your money is safe. I'm just waiting for your call. Oh, thank you. Bye. Dear, see that. Yes, uh, Madam Gladys, good evening. Thank you. Yes, uh, I just returned from work. My wife says she's out for a birthday party. Uh, is it there in your house? Do you have any idea of a birthday party of any of your friends holding today? Uh, okay, thank you. Well, my wife says she has gone for a friend's birthday party and uh, I'm surprised uh, the, all the friends are calling, they seem to have no idea about it. Okay, thank you. Who is there? Please come in. Uh, good evening, good evening uh, Anna. I hope all is well. This one all can never be well. All can never be well, Mr. Mike. My, my fiance and your wife, right now as I'm talking to you, they are cheating on us at Obama Hotel. I've been telling you this everybody, but you have never believed me. Just believe me, I'm out. Please, Dress please, let's go and please, see Anna. You know, what you are saying can be dangerous. Nothing no, they don't dangerous. joke about things uh -uh. like this. Why should I joke now? I'm not a joke. Since you know me, where well, Mr. Mike, let's go and verify this issue. No, you can go and verify. I, I cannot be suspecting anyway. my wife. Okay, Mr. Mike, I know you love your wife so much. Where is your wife's home? Is it not in wife's this house? That, that's Somewhere not beside the cupboard under the chair. That's not the issue. Okay. You're talking about your husband cheating. He can be cheating with somebody else. I know where my wife is right now. Oh, God have mercy, Mr. Mike. I overheard my fiance calling your wife on the phone. This is what he said. Right on the note. 
my friend has accepted that I go for the birthday party. So I am going ahead for the preparation. When you come after, call me for directives. Keep the letter and hide your phone somewhere so that when he comes and calls you, there will be no way for him to come and see you. Is your wife not in this house? Did you see a note somewhere on top of his chair written? Stuff? I hope you are not dreaming of something here. But Anna. Mr. Mai, this is not my handwriting now. Where, Where did you say they are? Let's go and catch this culprit. Where did you say oh, they are? Obama, Obama Hotel. Obama Hotel. Please dress up. Let's go. I just hope that what you are saying is the truth. Because I don't want to say that. Hey, somebody will call me my money. No sense. What a cheat. Mr. Michael, let's go. Ah. Yeah, let's go. The fans are still not on the list. Let's go. I've been sent to rob it up. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. Oh, then stop wasting time. Go fast and go. It's you that I see. It's you that I see. Wow. <laughs> there is power in your name. Yes, greetings, madam. Please, we want to see somebody in room uh, two, two or three. Uh, he, he is, yeah, uh, it's a friend of ours. Mm. Yes, yes. Uh, you don't need to do that. Can you just leave us to where this? We they called us to come. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we focus on the one. Okay. 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 Thank you. Ben, I'm the one. This is mine. Open this door. Ben. Ben. Anyway. There's no need to hide. I did not come to disturb your meeting. I just wanted to let you know that I've come with Anna and we are next door. So when we wake up in the morning, let us re-exchange wives before we go back home. Well, maybe a glass of water can do. Thank okay, you please much. get for him a glass of water. Yes, Again, glad to visit you tonight. Thank so, you. how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. We thank God, we thank God, actually. Yes. Uh, so, what brings you to my house? Well, again, like I said last time at the store, where I met you, that shop where I met with you, mm -hmm. uh, that would have been the first time I saw you, but something happened that day, at that time. I'm a man who knows when he's in love. And so when I met you that day, something spoke to me. I felt loving you. And when I told you I want to marry you, I did not joke about it. And you're not coming by because of any uh, thing, call it sex or whatever. I'm a man who wants to get married. 
and I know my wife when I see her. And from the time we met, and I saw you, I'm convinced that you are the one who was meant to be with me. I came again tonight to ask you, please, would you love me? Would you marry me? Be the mother of my children. Make my world different. That's why I came. Um, are you born again? Are you a child of God? Have you given your life to Christ? Yes, I have a friend uh, who shared Christ with me. Quite a long time we shared together. At the end of the day, he asked me to pray to receive Christ. And I did pray. And he told me from that day, because I believe in Christ and I believe in his death, I'm born again. So if that is what you mean, then I'm born again. Though not really much of a church man, I'm still learning to go to church, learning to grow in my faith. But I think that, and I believe in my mind, that I'm a Christian. Mr. George. Thank you. I heard you. Um, I'll pray about it. Give me some time to pray about it. Some time you mean? Yeah. Okay. Again, thank you very much for considering me and for praying about it. Me, I will join you prayer. Since I'm a prisoner, we can pray and seek the face of God about this one. So thank you very much. Let me be on my way. Right. Okay. Sorry. So it is true. I'm sorry. Please. So after all I've done for you, this is how you pay me. I think you deserve each other. Yeah, I'm go. sorry, I'm sorry. Dear, 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 please. Dear, please. Please, please come to me. Please come to me. Don't, 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 don't even talk to me. Please, please. Did you do what I asked you to do? How come you didn't do that? How come you didn't find out that they're here? Let's figure out what we are going to do. See? Oh, you stop it! Jesus Christ. <laughs> 